Hey, Muffin here. So I do these historical recreations every once in a while. When doing this, I try to have my participants uh, use no attachments, no camos. They can't even use consumables. Um, and sometimes I have them not use provisions. But the reason for the consumables is when engines or crew members or things like that get knocked out, it makes it much more realistic. Now, the historical recreation that we're going to be doing uh, for this video is, and I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but the Battle of Iwo Jima. And it went from February 19th to March 26th of 1945. And it was a major battle in which the United States Marine Corps and Navy landed on and eventually captured this island um, from the Japanese during World War II. And when doing some research, the Japanese tanks that had existed during this time period were these lower tier tanks. And on the American side, I wanted to make sure that things were balanced out between the two. Now, the Americans were the ones doing the invading. The Japanese had more on their side. So we did one Sherman, one Jackson, and a few Stuarts. And then on the Japanese side, we did... Um, like a few like tier three tier uh four and then like two hago just tier ones and it's kind of funny because when i do these historical battles ever once in a while and by the way shout out to the ones playing the tier one vehicles because that's not very easy and they were they were mentioning how hard it was or just how they could not penetrate some of these other higher tier tanks which is most likely, even though we know Blitz isn't 100% accurate, but it's very similar to probably how it was back then when uh, the Japanese during that time period were driving like the Tier 1 Ha Go and trying to fire at like a Sherman um, or a Jackson or something during that time period and it wasn't necessarily doing anything. So... History plays a really big and just awesome part when it comes to the world of tanks and how it connects with this game. So Sherman's in a bit of trouble here. We do it on a few of the different uh, Blitz Asian maps. So this first one we're going on Lost Temple and... So far, things aren't looking too good for the American side. Sherman's taken quite a beating, taken out another one of the Japanese tanks, and is out, leaving just two Stuarts left. So, in this first one, Lost Temple, um, we also do Destiny's Pearl, and then Yomata Harbor. So, some pretty good battles. Mixing it up, different players from each round. Love the participation. Thank you to all my subscribers that it helped as well. You guys are what make this channel. Now, it's kind of cool because, I mean, I'm just a sucker for history. And it, there's just something that makes playing the game itself just a little bit more meaningful. That these were actual vehicles and that's not the case with a lot of the tanks and blitz i would say there's a huge chunk of the tanks didn't exist or they were blueprints you know prototypes not necessarily used in battle but some significance but the ones actually used during wars battles things even like this um you know in what countries used to protect and defend their countries um, or fight for what they think is right is, is just incredible.
So just finished the first round. The Japanese have won against the Americans. Going into round two. Same setup here, very similar tanks, just have some different players in. And it's crazy when you're not using consumables. It's one of those things that you're just so used to having. And when something gets knocked out, crew gets injured, whatever the case may be, you click, it recovers or it automatically fixes. But making it a little bit more realistic when your driver or whatever is knocked out for the rest of the game or the engine <laughs> it makes it a lot harder. Now, in terms of casualty and losses in this battle that ended up taking place, um, I think there was about 26,000 total casualties. Um, and in terms of tanks, I think it was around 137 tanks uh, were destroyed during this battle. So quite a bit. And then on top of that, another about 19,000 that were wounded. Jackson being put in a little bit of a rough spot here. Now, I think if I remember, there was a pre-landing bombardment that happened. There were about 450 naval ships just on the coast before the attack had taken place. Some of those ships, I, I believe, did suffer casualties. So pretty close game here. Just one Stewart left. Things are looking to be in the Japanese favor in this round. The next one, we're gonna add another M3 Stewart. See if that ends up changing things and if the Japanese in the Battle of Iwo Jima are able to still win and the last map will be on destiny's pearl So good game, 
and then going into the last one. I believe even during this battle when the Marines were uh, on the land attacking, there were night attack by um, Banzai and had to be prepared for those. Just a really frightening and scary time to have been in a situation like that in a battle it's much different in blitz because we're sitting behind a screen we're obviously okay doesn't matter where we get hit you know we die we go back into another game but in real life when this battle was happening it's you only had one life and that was it And obviously, that's just stating the obvious. So, pretty good battle happening. So you can just see from that lower tier tank just how thick that M4 Sherman is. With its cannon just not quite having the penetration. So evening out the numbers here, only three tanks left on each side. Going off of a cliff that high, I'm pretty sure would have damaged and destroyed the Sherman in real life, but... So having one more additional M3 Stewart looks like it was able to push it through to a victory for the American side. So honestly, really good game. Thank you once again to all my subscribers. Keep the ideas coming. I do keep track of them and try to take note of all the ones that I get. This is The Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.